Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Super Magical. It'll be out by the time you see this, it's a few days before release here, and I don't know what the price is, so at the moment anyway, I'll have it down in the description and I'll have a little thing saying do I think it's worth that, because I'm still kind of split on this game. So, let's go just have a quick look around, there's nothing in the options. Normally, I would be somewhat okay with like a with only being able to like turn off the sound or the music, you know, no volume slides or anything, but in this game in particular, I'm kind of annoyed that the option's missing because the little girl on the left won't stop making annoying noises during the gameplay and I've actually wanted to turn that off, but you can't. That kind of sucks. So, we're we'll stop straight into the story mode. You can only have one save slot, so there's not that much to it. And we'll go hop into the next level before we do anything. Hidden money over there. Uh, speaking of which, where is the next level? I can't see it. Oh, right. I guess it didn't save for some reason. So, how about this? We'll head back to a level that's not a timed level, preferably. Because I hate the timed levels. Alright. Went for it to load up. So, this is super magical. It's a puzzle bubble clone. More or less. Like, there's not really that much else to it, really. It's got a couple of things going for it that make it slightly different, but otherwise it is pretty much a Puzzle Bubble clone. When you defeat enemies, you can pick up money off their corpse, and you can also do this. If you use these candies, you can use them to change the color of your shot. So that you, if you are not using the right color at the moment, because, you know, the game's not working with you, it's working against you, you can change to a color that you actually do need and use that instead, which is kind of nice. The annoying thing about this system, though, is that you actually have to pay for the candies. They're not free. You buy them using in-game currency. There's no microtransactions. But that does mean you have to pay in-game money in order to actually get them. There are other ways you can get them. You can get them as, like, um rewards for these little match three games that you get from time to time and I will be able to show you one or two of those but otherwise they are pretty they are pretty easy to get but they're not exactly the easiest thing in the world to get either which kind of sucks because you end up needing a lot of them throughout the game and it just yeah you need to be stocking up on them pretty early on so I'm about to have them right up to the edge here, so I guess it's time to demonstrate one or two of the spells. The spells are things like, this is basically just a, um, this is basically just a, a cluster bomb. So we freeze a few of these things and then come on down and boom, and they all die, because of course when they get disconnected from the horde, that's how, that's how that all works. And you can only do that as much as you have, um, Soda up in the top left, which again kind of sucks. You earn soda via um, beating the ever loving bejesus out of the enemies. Of course, the more you get in one shot or one combo, means you'll um, means the more soda you'll get, the more money you'll get. Pretty simple stuff. My other spell is pretty simple. Pretty simply, just it pushes all of the enemies back, but I don't want to go using that just yet because you only get a limited amount of spell uses, as I've already said. You control it via moving... You control the aim via moving this up and down here, and you can move to the right in order to, like, you know, not... In order to not actually fire off a shot, but if you... Hold the touchscreen on like the right side of the screen. Sometimes it'll just fire off when you let your finger off the touchscreen for no discernible reason, and it kind of sucks. Not entirely sure what the purpose is of that, but it's there. And the basic idea is that you just got to keep playing until you clear out the thing or die. Thankfully, if you use a bunch of candies on a level and still manage to fuck up and die, well, um, the game doesn't actually consider them as used, so you'll just get them all back once you get thrown back to the, um, to the overworld, which is kind of nice. Because at least you're not, um, at least you're not spending a ton of money on candies that you didn't even get to use to succeed, which is pretty fair, I think. 
Okay, I got a red, so now I just gotta make sure I hit this shot perfectly. You do have a couple of other things you can use, like, um... There's a set of series of ice creams that you can see over on the right side of this. Where, you, if you use the ice creams, it will rewind your last shot, which is fairly useful, but I keep forgetting it's there. And you can also use, um, the gumball there, in order to, um, the gumball in order to destroy everything that's on the screen at once. So, it's basically a get out of jail free card, more or less. Nothing too spectacular about it. There are other modes. There's um, a timed mode where you have like 10 seconds before the guys will move forward every time. There's a puzzle mode where you have to um, destroy everything in a um, in a brain work with me here. There's a time mode where you have to destroy everything within a, um, a puzzle mode where you have to destroy everything within a certain amount of things. So, yeah, unfortunately it doesn't affect the, um, the black ones. Because this game doesn't want to be racist. The performance is okay, but it does tend to slow down from time to time. I mean, sure, it's a turn-based game, more or less, but when it starts getting to the time-based ones, it, get, it starts to suck in that sense. And the thing about this game is that it's actually kind of timed anyway. Mainly because of the... I'm just gonna fire off a few more spells, because you don't get much of a bonus for, um, saving your sodas, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, the, as I was saying, the thing is, the game is actually timed as well. Like, um, the idea being that you have these, you have, um, it's your basic mobile game strategy, right? Where you've got multiple levels and they all require, like, three stars and stuff in order to, um, in order to, you know, get the best scores and stuff like that. But in this game, instead of being based on score, it's based on time spent in the levels. So you do actually have to, um... You do actually have to, for some reason, just, like, be really fast. And it can be hard to be really fast when the game's performance goes down the toilet. So, that kind of sucks. I'm not entirely sure why they went for that, but they did. And I really don't have a... Really don't have the same amount of do I? Um, this kind of sucks. Because I still can't hit that thing around the side, so... Do I have a green candy? I do. Use that there, and then use this here, and there we go. So I get to leave with all the money, and... The game isn't very friendly with um, some of the purchases you have to make. So, for example, once you have finished a level, every level has a shop that you can see via the, um... The shop little thing there. And some of these shops actually sell objects that you need in order to progress through the game, which kind of sucks. You also can't go, like, directly to a specific level. You have to go there level by level one at a time, which really sucks. Oh, this is actually a really cheap spell ingredient, so I'm going to buy that. So, um, you can also buy other things. Like, you can buy individual candies, and you can buy, um, candy mountains, which give you lots of individual candies. You can also visit this guy over here called Manuel, and what Manuel does is, if I spend one of these tokens in the bottom left to open up this activity, it's a match two sort of thing. You know, like like Super Mario Brothers and every other game that does something like this. And the idea is, you got to match as many of these things as possible in order to try and win as many prizes as possible. There are, of course, two skulls. And if you're like me, you will find the two skulls before you find anything else of even remote importance, which really sucks. But yeah, basically the idea is you just gotta get as many items as you possibly can before you find all the skulls. And I appear to really suck at that. Okay, jewel here. Candy here. Now I have to get this perfectly right, otherwise I won't get all the items. Hey, it actually went well for me for once. That's neat. But anyway, I get all those items now. You can stumble across this guy in several places on the world map and he'll let you play this activity for free. And he'll also let you um, use those tokens to unlock them and you can actually find the tokens for free in shops. So every time you finish a level, it's worth checking the shop just to be safe. We can also come to Manuel's shop and Manuel's shop is actually kind of different because he actually lets you buy things like this, which is a pinata 
which will let you get all sorts of different items. So I got a candy mountain, two ice creams, and what appear to be two ingredients for spells in the in the shop, which is actually that's actually a pretty good haul for a panada, considering that the ingredients usually cost like a thousand each under the best circumstances. What do I mean by ingredients? Well, let's go find out. So this is the tower. Uh, you can get your different spells going here. I'm gonna um, actually swap this guy out for this guy just for the purpose of demonstration. But this little fairy here can destroy any three things that you want. And these, you can also find like upgrade items for these guys as well to make them more effective. You can apparently get hats or pets that affect the game somehow, but I haven't actually managed to find one yet. And considering that I'm like halfway through the, what the game says that I'm doing right now, I don't know why I haven't been able to find any hats or pets, but there you go. And in the magic cellar, you can tap on the spell box and it'll show you the items you can make. And the different items are very powerful, like this one, you get uh, two for the price of one whenever you buy a candy. For this one here, you can summon the epic dragon, which will let you travel anywhere, but unfortunately, I, it takes a long time to find all the items you need to actually travel around, which is kind of annoying, but not a huge deal. And that's how you get back to the main menu, I didn't mean to do that. So, the game also puts you up, up to boss fights from time to time. So, if I come here, you can see Lust's Temple. And what this actually makes you do is... It makes you talk to one of your seven sisters who have escaped from the underworld in order to try and put them back. You are basically the only non-evil sister. It makes you talk to them and you kind of have to sort of guess what they, what you, what they want you to say in order to get as much money as possible, because, um... The idea is that you have basically just have to guess based on their personality. So yeah, this is Lust, so obviously she's gonna date as many people as you think. And she obviously wants to date someone who's rich, so you wanna make him date m m Mix Zikabia? And obviously you wanna use Facebook. Don't ask me why, it's self-referential humor, it kinda sucks. There are some little humors that uh, bits of humor that actually work in this game, but for some reason that just doesn't... For some reason they went self-referential and that just doesn't work. And it just teaches you how to use whatever power you just unlocked. I just unlocked the, um, the freeze bear guy here, so... It's just asking you, how would you use this? Mm. Yeah, that's whatever. Not a big deal. Uh... There's no level. Where's the next level? I can't see it. Oh, that may be a problem. Okay, apparently I found a bug. That's new. Alright, so note to self. What, after you beat a boss, don't go back. Oh, wait, no, hang on. No, hang on. I think I know where I need to go. Unfortunately, I need to take the long way around. I may... Wait, let me check that shop first just to make sure there isn't an item that I need to progress. Yep, need the titanium key in order to actually progress. Uh, you wear this cat and all the coins will automatically be collected. Uh, it, it improves, improves the warlock. Yeah, you get the idea. Alright, so I found the key that I need to go down the other branch. So I'll just work my way back towards that. This is it. So I have the titanium key. So I just unlock the lock. And I play the level. It's pretty simple. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Alright, mage, can you help me out here? That didn't help as much as I would have hoped. I'm guessing that you have to actually bring the, um, the crushy bear guy in and just use him a couple of times, but... Yeah, other than that, I'm not entirely sure what you're supposed to do here. <laughs> That's not good. Alright, yeah, I'll use one of my chewing gums. Just so you can see how that works. But yeah, basically, they're all gone now, and it's replaced with a... A slightly more workable field. I'm not sure I'm a fan of all the, um, having to pay for all the items stuff. 
Like, it, it does kind of feel like it's been ported from a mobile game, which it has. It's like a port of an iOS game that came out like five years ago. Which is kind of unusual to bring to Vita, like right now, considering that this game launched around the same time the Vita did. But it's, it's not too bad of a game, not really. I'm not too annoyed by it. It works pretty well at what it does, and you can get a lot of money pretty quickly if you just, like, go back and just, like... You do get a lot of, like, the tokens to play the Match 2 game. The Match... Yeah, the Match 2 game. That is technically what it is. And you do get to, um... Just... And you do get lots of money just by replaying the levels. So it's not that big of a deal. Not, not that bad of a game. Not really. Uh, great. I've got nothing I can do with this. Might as well make it yellow. Now, why did I make it yellow? I needed to make it purple. Damn it. Right. Okay. New, need a new plan. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm not going to be able to rebound it through that. These guys suck. It's given me plenty of sodas, so I assume that the whole point of this level is basically just to bring the freeze guy in and just absolutely wipe the floor with everyone. Kind of annoying, but I've got plenty of candies and stuff. This is workable if I, um... Ooh, this may suck a little. Yes, you do hear that girl's voice every single time, and it does get annoying relatively quickly. And the performance is starting to drop. Oddly enough, the game doesn't slow down at all on the capture kit as far as I can tell, because it tends to freak out with a lot of solid colors and stuff like that. But no, this game seems perfectly fine um, with it. It's mainly just the game itself lagging out. So yeah, this thing just removes all of one color, if you couldn't tell. And considering I've got four, four soda bottles at the moment, I can remove everything and just completely clear the screen if I don't fuck this up. There we go. And just one more and I'll be able to remove all the blues. There we go. It is pretty power-up spam heavy and stuff like that. It's not terrible. It's just, it's not entirely based on your own puzzling skill. I think that's what the main thing is with this with this title. This doesn't mean it's the worst game in the world, it just means it's slightly different in comparison to a game like Ms. Germinator, which is entirely based on your own skill, which is which is nice. Well, in that game it's nice. In this game, it might be a little bit more annoying than you're used to, but not a big deal. I thought I had a green one there. Uh, we'll change this one's color, make it yellow, I guess. And they're all maddy. Let's see if I can... Yep, I got the rebound, and they're all disconnected. That's great. And this is the final wall of them. There really isn't that much else to say. The, the game does look alright. It's got some good stylings going for it. Doesn't really help that it slows down a lot. There we go. And I, I did get one or two laughs out of it. Like there's um there's an ingredient ingredient that you have to get called um uh shiny elf crap. I'm not even kidding. It's it's actually kind of funny. Shiny elf crap. I'm not entirely sure what they're going for there. A double candy pack. Oh, it... Oh. It actually lets you get the whole spell in one go, but I don't think I'll bother with that. And what's a six-leaf clover? Oh, it's an ingredient. 
Alright, might as well get the ingredient and I'll get the candy mountain because it's cheap. Move on to the next level. There's just another regular level, but that's alright. We can end off on that. Ooh, this looks like a bit of a painful level. Let's see just how much we can change that. I completely missed that shot, so let's rewind it. I was thinking the game was going to crash there for a second. That seemed like a fairly long time just to get the shot the back the way it was. Um, let's change this colour to red. There we go. Um, just get the coins before they disappear. You can also buy, like, um, extra candy while you're in the level, but it costs full price. You do kind of want to try and avoid that. Like, we're just, um like that money first and hit the shop button right there you can see that you can buy all of this stuff you can even buy extra soda if you want which is which which works you can eat it um the well, first thing i want to do is i want to rewind that shot because that was horrid uh let's actually get a pink one out here i've got lots of candy it it is surprisingly easy just to find yourself absolutely loaded down with the stuff which is which is all right considering that the game's Based off, um, you know, like, wanting to, uh, get microtransactions off you, which is not the worst thing in the world, sure, but... At least it's somewhat fairly balanced so that, you know, you don't have to spend an absolute ton of time to earn this shit. Ugh, great, what do I do here? Uh, guess I'll just, um, wipe out a particular colour? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. wonder if I can rewind that shot. <laughs> can I rewind that shot? Yep, there they are. I don't think it gave me back my soda, though. Hang on. Gotta go for the greens. And now I get all of them. Change my candy colour to yellow. Rebound up here so I can do that. And we're safe for a while. That's nice. Did not mean to hit that, but I'll roll with it. Can I hit that? Nope, definitely not. You can use ice creams up to, like, three times in a row, which is convenient. Uh, I need, probably gonna need pink. There we go. And off he runs. And there's another pink, but I don't have anywhere to shoot it, so let's turn it into a... Let's turn it into a red. Fire it down about there. And the same sort of firing angle should get me those purples. And that's another purple for some reason, so let's get my last red out of the way. Now if I go blue and then pink... I should... Ooh, I may not actually be able to hit that shot. Let's see. Nope. Alright, hang on. Rewind time once or twice. Unfortunately, this all takes time, so that means I've prob I probably stand absolutely no chance of getting three stars on this one, which kind of sucks. Alright, let's use a different plan, if I've got one. Which is, wipe out the pinks this way. Money! And let's get a green candy going in there so I can do this. Let's rewind time. <laughs> Try that again. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. 
Uh, red. Another red. Do I have any purples left? Got plenty of purples left. Fire a purple down there. No, I missed. I don't care. Let's not waste too much more time. This video's already been gone for 25 minutes. Fire that there. I miss. Go a little bit higher. Still miss. Fuck that. Rewinding that. Really need a laser sight. It is kind of hard to aim, which is, I know, kind of the point, but fuck! There we go. I'm willing to bet it's the end of the level up here, but, um... Yep, that's it. So, just need to get my last green out, try to actually hit this shot this time. Why didn't I just aim up here? There we go. That was a quick look at the silliness that is super magical. It's a puzzle bubble clone. It, it's alright. It's ported from a... Well, I don't think it's a free-to-play game, but it's ported from a game designed to make you pay for my, microtransactions, but the balance there isn't bad. It looks alright. It runs okay. It does everything it needs to. I'm not too annoyed by it, more or less. So, yeah. Um, if it comes out for like 10 bucks or less, it's probably worth a look. If you liked the look of this video. Any more expensive, I might start to question it, but I can't imagine they'd release this for more than 10 bucks. So, there you go. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.